Hi everybody, my name is Asan Lumia. I'm going to talk about a very important topic which is crisis and disaster uh, incident, right? These are most times unexpected things that happen and incident that happen that will it need immediate action because, uh, uh, because incidents or uh, it's in, inevitable, it can occur at any time. Like for example, you have various type of incident or disaster, you have like a flood, you have a um, earthquake, um, so many things. Um, crisis and disaster, uh, disaster incidents can cause serious reputation uh, or for an organization that is not prepared right for short and incidents there are many examples across the globe or the world wherein an organization have ceased to exist because of their lack of preparedness to manage a crisis or a disaster right this is basically attached like some organization or some government or some countries uh, lack of their lack of preparedness has caused them a lot of crisis wherein it leads to their failure you know so the, the guidelines set on, on on this um manual or this my advice is to implement by an organization or uh, that will ensure that it has place policy and procedures and the structure that can be repaid or rapid um, initiation in order to allow this organization to respond in an effective and timely manner you know to manage this Im immediate incident uh, back to normality as soon as possible this basically means that in every areas of uh, departments in every areas of business or or government parastatus or in any area their offices they should have the the, the emergency systems right like uh, and in even in a business right you should have the emergency system the crisis manager because anytime crisis can occur economically politically socially crisis can occur so how can you solve this crisis when you have the crisis management they are there to take action whether whether there's an economical crisis what to do whether there is a natural or environmental crisis what to do so all these measures should be in place right then um there is a sustainable uh, for experience training and uh, exercise of crisis or disaster management plan to improve the performance of first responder and the incident commander so there should be update training in in, in your offices if this crisis occur there is a fire crisis what are we going to do there should be a, a drill you understand then in your businesses if if our business is slow right if business is not moving how are we going to move from one level to another how are we going to take our business from manual to online sell you so you have to think there are, if people are facing um uh, there is shortage of food how are we going to do to get people uh, food if there is an ebola crisis how are we going to do to tackle this ebola crisis if there is a um, corona crisis people will be short of food or their people will be affected because of moving around or crap so there should be a crisis management in all of this, these things then having in place the pre-plan tactics for specific type of knowing or events can can greatly enhance the, 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 the quality of the response, save lives and reduce damage. The, you know, the key of this successful management of major incident is command and control, how you can control uh, situation of this crisis. Developing these structures and uh, test them and regularly based to ensure the fitness if they are is purpose you know so you have to this situation you have to all the time look at your crisis management if this case uh, arises what are we going to do then finally um crisis management and disaster re uh, recovery this is a critical critical success factors 
the effective response to this major incident or this large scale everywhere has to be uh, multi agency different agencies should come together to solve this pro this this uh, crisis management we are in you should have to put this plan in place that plan a plan b if this issue happen this is what we should call fire force fire uh, uh firefighter we need to call the police the civil defense or we need to if there is a um, uh, they want to hack your systems what we should call the the, the, the the engineer you know so many areas the crisis is in different form form you know then um looking at but it need a clear leadership right it need a clear leadership this simply means that the leader who is in charge of this crisis management will have the capability to analyze and evaluate and put the plan in place so whenever there is an occurrence of certain situation or crisis there should be an implementation a immediate action that should take before it leads to further escalations of problem or conflicts or, <laughs> or you know disaster recovery you know so um that leadership is developed through trainings and experience it is not a scene but an act of people getting better with practice you know so i stop here to conceptualize this all crisis management and this the, the um, um, disaster uh, incident can cause serious um, um, uh, repercussion for an organization or for a government for a country so we should always look at this how we can solve crisis i stop here and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you all